Okay, so I have been playing Payday 3 non-stop today. <laughs> it has released maybe 12 hours ago. Um, and I'm currently, well, I was playing the nightclub level. As you can see, I currently am. And I encountered a problem that I thought I would share with all of you. And my solution to the problem I encountered. So, we're playing on very hard difficulty. And we can just walk straight into the nightclub. Ideally, this chick who's talking, who is not Bane, I don't know why, um, you know, the President Bane isn't just talking to us, I guess. <laughs> Whoever this chick is is telling us that we need to access the VIP area, and then we need to go and, and s hack this chick's phone and distract these two guys and screw with the DJ and all this stuff. I bet you, if you were a four-man team, that would be a lot of fun, and it would probably be a breeze. If you are a one-man team, that is nigh impossible. Why? Because you can't put your mask back on. There are times where to access certain areas you need to vault an obstacle or jump and uh, you have to have your mask on to do that and you can't take it back off so you can't really come back into this area and walk in the door because these civvies here will spot you so here's what we're going to do this guy's going to greet us here and say nope you can't come through and we're just going to pick this door why because uh, we are the stealthiest lockpicker to ever exist on the face of the planet, and this bartender is blind. There is a camera right here. Once it turns, we're going to do something pretty sneaky. We're going to stand right here, sprint, and these guards are going to hear that noise and go, What the heck just made that? We're going to sprint around, grab this guy's badge, and swipe it. <laughs> and he's like, Oh, dude, I wow, that was just crazy. Then we're going to sprint by him, go under this camera, sprint around, Pray to God that camera doesn't see us. Trust. And we just skipped the entirety of the first part of the stealth of this mission. Woo! And from here, I'm going to show you how to finish up and do the vault. So here are the wires. We're going to come back to this in a little bit. Now's the time to mask up. Um, no need to worry about that anymore. Open up this vent. We're going to move over here. Now, real quick. There are two variations for this map. One is the vault is here, um, tucked in behind that camera right I there. See a camera. And the other is that the vault is far on that side. Wherever the vault is not, the security office is where the cameras are. So I am going to move over into the accountant's office here. Make some noise. Can this guy hear it? He can't. Darn it. I wanted to bait that guy. But we might be able to bait him later. We're going to unlock this door. Don't open it. There's a camera on the other side here. There are three codes in this room for the vault. One is here, one is in the safe, and then one is on the other side of this door in here. Um, I'm going to show you how easy it is when the vault is on this side of the room uh, to move everything. So we're going to open up a quick... Steam web browser here. We're going to put in our codes. Uh, we uh, we lured that guard good. 2651. And then we're going to wait for this guy to come in. Uh, getting rid of this guy will help us just move loot super quick. So we're going to wait for him to come in through this door. He's going to close the door because we haven't gotten rid of the cameras yet. Then we're going to kill him. Doors closed. Uh, I'll go ahead and pick him up. Thanks for calling, buddy. I feel much safer now. I'm glad you guys over there at Control are so sharp. Not gullible at all. Okay, so here we're going to drop down. We're going to wait for this camera to turn because we're going to pick this door. After we pick this door, we're going to run inside. There's a camera right here. We can sprint right past it. Go around the right. Unlock this door, open it. Move in here into the bathroom. Open up this vent. And this vent will lead us always into 
the room the with the crypto, the crypto wallet. Now you here the is the switch the right that we need to flip. Now, if you screw up and restart, as of launch day, this does not change. So if you restart your heist, all of your heist-specific variables, such as what variation you have or what switch needs to be flipped, will always stay the same. So H200 blue is our switch, and if we switch it up, if we, um, excuse me, restart the level, it won't change. Now, we're not going to talk about the fact that I almost got spotted for doing something I normally don't do. And we're just going to go in here and pretend like nothing happened. H200 blue. Okay. Flip that switch. The power's off. Reset the biometric scanner from the computer in the accounting office. Just like she said, we're going to go into the accountant's office. <laughs> and ignore the guard that's just chilling. I got startled just a little bit when I saw that guy just like hanging out uh, in the closet there. He's having a good time. Now we're going to restart yes. here. <laughs> and uh, we're going to drop. We're going to move past this camera. We're going to go in here, grab the crypto wallet, and we're essentially done. Now, um, I realize I actually forgot one code for the vault, so we're going to do that after we run by here. Um... So yeah, we're, uh, let's go ahead and lock sure this. Okay. There is a camera right up here. Camera. It's currently looking at the door. We can sneak right inside. And um, we're going to crack this safe. So if you don't know how to crack the safe, you just wait until it starts to vibrate like that. And then you stop whenever it gets um, vibrate E. And then you go until it's green. Stop. And then you move on to the next, rotating in the opposite direction every time. So 8166 is our other code. And we've got some cash in here, some dosh. Now I'll go ahead and pick this up and show you. You can just throw it straight into uh, the drop-off point. And that's why we keep that door closed and why we are and should be men of our words. So... We're going to go up here and uh, hopefully not get spotted by a sieve, and we're going to deal with that camera operator. On the okay. ground. Um, yeah, I think this is actually a pretty good example of kind of like, sometimes stuff doesn't go the way you want it to, and you just kind of have to think on the fly. Sometimes civs will move there and move from that balcony, just tie up their hands and let it go. You could leave here, but I'm going to disable the cams so we can do the vault stuff. Um, here I'm just going to drop, move in here, I'll go ahead and close this door, open this vent, and we'll go straight in the security room. Now the other variation, this is the vault. Uh, it is more difficult when it's on this side. I'll go ahead and upload what you would do if it was the other variation after this. Hello? No, it was nothing. Just this chill going down my spine. It's like I'm being Sweet, watched. cameras are down. Now we can unlock this, open it. There is a guard that rotates right there. Um, guard. But we can op Ooh, open that up and do nothing uh, because we don't want to go in there. And. Fortunately, I marked this guy, but once we get out of here, we will never come to this side again. Weesh. Okay, another door we should not have opened. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and knock this guy out. And then, yeah, I'll go ahead and pick up his body. This will be the last pager we'll use, and the last one we'll even need to use. What the hell is wrong with these new radios? I like the old ones better. Is that so? All right, uh, throw this guy. Okay. Grab the coke because I don't know. I'm an addict. An addict for loot, not for cocaine. I I, I should have clarified that and specified. Uh, so okay, 
Vault is in here to get in easily. We're just going to go ahead and open up this panel, drop down, and open this up. How considerate of them to have a pin code so, if you actually look here, you can see fingerprints like on six. I think it looks like, yep, two, five, and six have fingerprints. I'm just going to move a little bit, but you can see it on two. The UV flashlight's doing that for us. Um, in the manager's office in the first part of this mission, it would tell you which of these three codes are the one, I think. Um, but because we know it has a 2, 1, 5, and 6, we know it's 2, 6, 5, 1. And if you get it wrong, then you just have to sit here and look like an idiot for 30 seconds. Okay, we open it up, grab the cache, and throw it in. And so from here, as you can see, it's just easy. I'm going to run back and forth and grab cash and then drop it off. Cool. Uh, and so to trigger the, the Payday Fanatics watching this video, I'm going to not grab the rest of the loot and just uh, escape because it's pretty obvious you can just finish it up and I don't want to waste all of your time by just, you know, throwing loot around. So we're going to go ahead and escape. I'm going to end it here, and then I'm going to show you what you would do if it was the other variation. Okay, we're back in, and I'm going to be fingers crossing that the other variation, the not-so-good variation, is the one that we've been dealt on this run. I should have specified in the beginning, I will make sure it's in the title, that this only works on very hard difficulty and below. On Overkill, this is a private club. They shut the doors, so this public area is now a private area, and that changes the dynamics here drastically. We're going to do the same thing, aggro them, lockpick the door, open sesame, open it up. Camera is looking at us. It's not looking at us. Now we're going to move here. They hear it. Draw them to our location. Move around. Grab the badge. Swipe it. Sprint by. Sprint under the camera. Move. Sprint under the camera. And it's the same deal here. So as you can see, it's like really replicable. And it's really cool. All right. Now, uh, I'm only going to go into the accountant's office and unlock the door because I want to check and see if this is the right variation. Whew. Did that open? It did. Wow. That was mega greed. We're going to wait for this camera to turn and then we're going to see. Is it the vault or is it the security office? It is the security room. Okay, so this is the other variation. We're going to open up here, pop cap in him, reload up, and uh, we'll just wait for the pager. So, this is the mm, not so fun calling, and I feel much probably safer. not so feasible to loot the vault variation, so but not I'll show you anyway. Okay, right. Cameras are dead, which is nice from the start. We're going to go through here. It's the same deal as before. Open up the vent. We're going to check what wire it is. It's B300 green. B300 green. B300 green. B300 green. Okay. Um, we're going to run around this side. Almost get spotted by a guard. Uh, in this variation, I think we don't want to kill him or don't need to. So it's good we didn't get spotted. B300 green. All right. Okay. Now, instead of going back, oh, um, I'm actually gonna use. Ooh, I, I don't think. Actually, no, I'm not gonna get him down because those civvies in the middle can spot. Uh, so we're gonna sprint by him. Open up here. Close the door, and then we're gonna open up this vent. So a lot of the flow is the same, but. Uh, oh my gosh, please don't spot me. Please don't spot me. There's a guard. Ooh. 
Okay, that was close. Uh, we're going to drop down again, uh, except there's a guard on this side here, as you can see. Guard over there. There's a guard here instead of the guard being over there. And there is another one that patrols that section. So it seems to me like the ubiquitous spawning of the guards includes the one in the camera room, obviously, and the one that patrols that area. So now that he's moving back, we're going to drop down. This room is always empty. We're going to open up here. So now, instead of the security room, this is now the vault. And so we have this here. Um, I am not going to touch this, but you could replicate the workflow of getting these uh, these potential codes. And you can actually see they're on here. So I think this is 93908? Nope, I'm an idiot. Uh, it's not that. It's what did I just guard do? some permutation. Um, actually, it would probably be good to kill this guard. Anyway. So we'll just go ahead and take this guy out. It, I, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, yeah, okay? hey there, buddy. Just saw something that kind of spooked me, but uh, turns out it was nothing. Cool. You go back to sleep now. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Uh, why am I getting spotted? Why am I getting spotted? Okay. All right, so we're going to go back up, reset the biometric scanner, and uh, we are going to grab the crypto wallet. You are going to see how how much more difficult it is to deposit loot whatever stuff is on the opposite side. Uh, it is nigh impossible. Annoying, at the very least. Let's reset it here, and then we're going to jump downstairs. There we go. The storage unit is open. Get in there and pick up the crypto wallet. So we go in here, same deal. And the cool thing about using this vent is you don't ever need to kill that guard or mess with him because honestly, if you do, you aggro all the civvies in there and it becomes really difficult stealth. Okay, so now the drop off is there. So we are going to go back around here. We eliminated the guard that patrols here. So we're gonna jump back up and go this way above. Civilian. There's a sieve. Hopefully he doesn't turn around. He did turn around. It's going to make things difficult here. Can he spot us? Doesn't look like he can. The guard is moving on the other side, so we're going to drop down here and throw the loop. Nicely done, people. We got now, as you can see, right, you've got a guard patrolling right there who's going to walk this way the entire time. You can't really take him out because then you aggro sieves. There are two sieves right there. It's just bad news bears. Um, to be honest, it might be worth just resetting. if uh, Or not resetting, but simply just leaving instead of trying to screw with the vault. If you get this permutation. Just a suggestion, not a guideline. Um, to easily escape, we're just going to move back up. Almost get spotted by civilians. And... This way. And now we leave. So those are the two permutations of the nightclub. I hope it helps. I genuinely hope that it makes it uh, not trivial, but possible for the solo Giga Chad enjoyers out there like myself uh, to not feel like you are beating your head against a wall to try to complete a mission that was designed for more people than you. Um, so. Thank you for watching. I hope it's helped, and I don't really upload, but if there is somebody out there who's like, hey, you did a good job at this, and if you come across something else and you want to upload it, um, more than happy to, uh, send me that encouragement. So I hope you all have a great day, and if I make another one, I'll see you in it.